This is a quick guide for Marksmanship Hunter for the War Within. We're going to go over both uh, Raiding and Mythic Plus in this build. We're going to be taking Sentinel as our hero talent choice for both of the builds, by the way, um, which basically means our attacks have a chance to apply a Sentinel on the target and it can stack 10 times. When the Sentinel stacks are higher than three, applying Sentinel has a chance to trigger an implosion, causing each attack to be a sh uh, consumed on the target every second and dealing arcane damage. It basically is a very passive thing that's happening, and eventually we get something called Lunar Storm. Every 15 seconds, your next rapid fire summons a Celestial Owl that will conjure a 10-yard radius Lunar Storm at the target's location for 8 seconds. A random enemy affected by Sentinel with your Lunar Storm gets struck for arcane damage very often, and any target struck by this effect takes 10% increased damage from you and your pet. So it all is a bit complex, but it's all very passive. The set bonus this season is the Lightless Scavenger's Necessities, where arcane shot and multi-shot damage is increased, and consuming your precise shots increases the damage of your next aimed shot by 10%, stacking twice. If you don't know what precise shots are, aimed shot causes your next two arcane shots or multi-shots in AoE to deal 70% more damage and cost less focus. So, we're going to start off by using two steady shots, and this is going to give us something called steady focus, increasing our haste. And you want to try and keep this up as much as possible. After that, if we ever get any free kill shots, sometimes your kill shot will proc, um, then use it when it procs. After that, use rapid fire on cooldown, and then use true shot on cooldown, which is our main cooldown. Rapid fire shoots a stream of arrows at your enemies. You can use it while moving, and it causes your next aim shot to be even faster. Then we're going to use our true shot on cooldown, reducing the cooldown of your aim shot and rapid fire massively and causing aim shot to cast faster as well. While true shot is active, you generate more focus and gain increased critical strike chance and increased critical strike damage every one second, and that can stack up to 10 times. Every 50 focus spent reduces the cooldown of true shot by a few seconds. If that sounds confusing, it's just basically making your aim shot super duper and reducing some cooldowns. So there's the um, kill shot proc that I was talking about. So use that whenever you get it. It is called um, Razor Fragments here that is causing that. We're then going to use Aim Shot. Um, it's on here twice. Why is that? Because sometimes it will turn into Wailing Arrow. And it looks like this. You may have seen it a minute ago. Use Wailing Arrow whenever it comes up. If it's not Wailing Arrow, then just use Aim Shot anyway to generate your precise shots up here. Damage of your Arcane Shot is increased. So then, again, we're going to keep using our steady shot to keep up our steady focus. And then again, we're going to use our arcane shot to consume those precision shots that were generated with our aim shot. You will also see sometimes your aim shot is going to proc, and that is from lock and load. Your ranged auto attacks have a chance to trigger lock and load, causing your next aim shot to cost no focus and be instant, which is what you're seeing when that one procs there. So we're going to use steady shot again here, like I said, to keep your steady aim. Is it steady aim? Steady focus, sorry, up. Use kill shot here whenever it's available. Use explosive shot on cooldown at this point. Use arcane shot at this point to just dump any last remaining focus. And if you've got nothing else to press, then it's going to be steady shot here. And that pretty much is the rotation. If we then change into the Mythic Plus build, you can see there is a few talents changing, but generally not much is actually changing over. We're going to be using Explosive Shot as a much higher priority because it does AoE damage and we're doing multiple attack, uh, multiple enemies. Use Volley, which does a volley of arrows. Use that on cooldown. And then use Rapid Fire and True Shot on cooldown in that order and your Aimed Shot to then use your Multi-Shot instead. So in Single Target, it was Arcane Shot. In Multi-Target... We're actually using aimed shot to get precise shots to use on our multi-shot. And again, using steady shot if we've got nothing else to press. And that is pretty much it for the Mythic Plus differences that we are going to be doing. That was obviously a very quick guide on the rotation for Marksmanship Hunter in the War Within. If you would like to see a much more in-depth guide, check out the link in the pinned comment and the description to my full in-depth Marksmanship guide. I am doing every spec, both quick and long form, so there is everything for everyone there. If you'd also like to support the channel, you can join my Patreon, where you're going to get a load of macros that I've specially made for the War Within to make your life easier on all classes and specs. You're also going to get LVI profiles that I'll be using in the War Within and Weak Auras. And then you're also going to get VIP support in Discord if you have any questions around your rotation, your spec, anything like that, anything in WoW really at all. 
And if you would like to see other quick guides, then check out this playlist here where I've done them all for you, including on my channel, PVP ones.